Pleasure. <laughs> I think it's time we better got to know one more craft beer. So I just broke the cor course record there. The, the previous record was last week. Once again, from my brew box that I got from my wife for Valentine's Day, which I tell you every time because I'm not being paid by the brew box or any of the breweries that are represented in the brew box. But you know, tens of people are watching and it's gotta be worth something. From Five Paddles Brewing Company, out of the great metropolis that is Whitby, Ontario. In your face! During the two and a half years that they have been proudly representing Whitby, Ontario, Five Paddles Brewing Company have produced over 120 different brew recipes. These artists have masterfully brewed using both traditional recipes and creating their own unique and entertaining twists with inspired adjunctive ingredients, all the while showing their patrons what it's like to live the dream. Well, this is a dream. For some people it could be a nightmare, but there is internet access here. <clears throat> In your face. This solid IPA is the perfect transition into spring, an invigorating brew that shines a crisp golden orange orange, it's normally grapefruit. And is topped with a light yet confident cherry head. It doesn't say that, it says confident head. Living up to its name, this brew will quickly ignite the senses with the citrusy and tropical aroma of grapefruit. There it is, grapefruit and guava. I don't think I've ever had guava. Isn't guava bat droppings? Or is that buono, buono? which is accompanied by a nicely hopped, slightly bitter, but highly refreshing taste. American India Pale Ale. Think of that for a second. An American India Pale Ale. Alcohol, 6.2%. Stay at home when you drink this. Uh, what's it say? There you go, you can read that. <coughs> Freeze the frame, you'll be able to read it. There you go. Uh, Ingredients, water, barley, hops, yeast, and Jimmy Hoffa. It doesn't say Jimmy Hoffa. Our beers are best drank fresh, but remain delicious in the bottle for three months from the day they are purchased. Well, I've had this one for three months, so we're at the end. Brewed and bottled by Five Paddles Company in Whitby, Ontario. Um, you know, I haven't done a critique of labels lately, but I'm, I'm, I'm going, you know, this, this, this um, tattoo skeleton. I know, I know people like it, but um, no website, no social media. You want your craft beer to become a little bigger, like market. Um, I would recommend um, Crush It by Gary Vaynerchuk. Cheers guys. I think they should call this Breakfast India Pale Ale because all I taste is grapefruit. Do you guys remember when Saturday Night Live was actually good? Me neither. But I do remember when they did commercials for AM Ale because um, Pepsi came up with Pepsi AM and they did AM Ale and this is what, this is what beer in the morning would taste like to me. And these bottles, my god. This is the size of bottle you have when you don't have to go back to work for four days. Remember, breakfast here. Great. 
grapefruit? Yeah. They taste that too. Very grapefruit. Yep. It's the hops that they use. I've actually heard of breakfast. I, I, I believe it. Yeah, with a meaty breakfast, I think. A-M-E-L. Aaron? It's actually not bad. It's because uh, I like it bitter like that. Yeah, I, I, I am getting used to Aaron, have a... It's breakfast beer. Breakfast beer. A few pancakes, maybe a breakfast steak, some bacon. Johnny cakes. Johnny cakes. Johnny cake. Johnny cake. Johnny cakes are made with mashed potatoes, right? What? I think Johnny cakes are made with mashed potatoes. I'll get back to you. All right. I am definitely getting used to the hoppy and the citrusy beers. And I'm not having the same reaction I had early on when we started. Better know a craft beer. Oh, uh, cornmeal is the main ingredient. Really? Oh, okay. Cornmeal, salt, butter, milk, boiling water. The end. Oh, okay. So I guess that's where they were bombing out the prairies. That could have had those ingredients. Okay. So I'm definitely getting the citrus. I don't know. I'm not 100% sure what guava tastes like. If I've ever had guava. I don't know. Uh, uh, definitely hoppy. Hoppy New Year. It says golden orange. I think it's more like a tanned caramel. Light yet confident head. Well, that, that does it for the brew box at beautiful Lake Restoul, Ontario. As I said before, look up Martin's Camp. They may, they may still have the cottages to rent out. Who knows? They may, they may charge you double because some idiot was using their property as a set and they need to get their money back from that. I, of course, am Larry the Butcher. Once again, thank you very much for watching. Comment down below. Do you like five paddles? Um, I don't think I've had a stout. Aaron? Aaron? Have I had a stout in the collection yet? Just one. This is the end of the third box. I think there's just one. The cherry stout, chocolate cherry stout, chocolate cherry stout. Yeah, that was, uh, I don't remember who that was. Have you had any from Hockley uh, Valley? Not yet. Guys, thank you once again for watching. I, of course, am Larry the Butcher. Don't forget to comment down below, like this episode, subscribe right there. It says photo here, but on your page it says subscribe. And by all means, share this video on social media and hunt me down on social media at Larry the Butcher or Larry TH Butcher because apparently Larry the Butcher is a wrestler somewhere and we're fighting each other for the name. Maybe it'll be a steel cage match. I'm on Facebook and if I'm not there, let me know, I'll get there. Vine, Beam, I'm on them all. Thanks again for watching. Johnny Cake.